Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss the significant impact of the exponential growth in data availability on the success of deep learning in the past decade. We mention that while web crawling has been a common method to gather large amounts of data, it often leads to issues such as misalignments between images and text descriptions. To address this, post-processing techniques are essential to enhance the quality of the data for training advanced vision language models. We highlight the importance of re-labeling training datasets using advanced captioning techniques, as seen in models like DAL E3 and Sora. Despite efforts to replicate these methods, the community still struggles to access high-quality image text data at scale for training advanced vision language models. Inspired by the capabilities of the LAMA-3 model and its positive impact on model performance, we introduce our advanced captioner model. Our approach involves training a LAMA-3 powered model to generate image captions, which are then used to improve the textual descriptions in the Datacomp-1B dataset. The resulting dataset, Recap Datacomp-1B, shows significant improvements in text quality and alignment with images compared to web crawled data. We conduct comprehensive evaluations to demonstrate the enhancements brought by Recap Datacomp-1B in training advanced vision language models. This dataset not only improves zero-shot cross-modal retrieval capabilities in clip models but also enhances the alignment between generated images and text instructions in text-to-image generative models. We believe that the release of Recap Datacomp 1B will stimulate further advancements in open-source community-driven development of advanced vision language models. Regarding related works, we focus on enhancing image text data quality by recaptioning. This involves rewriting captions using large language models like ChatGPT or Blip2 to improve the textual descriptions in image text pairs. While previous studies have shown the benefits of using advanced multimodal models for image captioning, scaling these approaches to billions of records can be costly. Our paper builds on existing approaches by leveraging advanced multimodal models like LLAVA specifically enhancing the LLM module with LAMA-3 and conducting recaptioning on a large-scale dataset. Our recaptioning pipeline centers around the advanced LAMA-3 model, known for its strong performance in various tasks. We describe the training procedures in detail and evaluate our LLAVA 1.5 LAMA-3 to 8B model using comprehensive multimodal benchmarks MMMU and MVIT. The results show that our model outperforms previous versions, including the larger LLAVA 1.5 to 13B model, highlighting its superior visual understanding and reasoning abilities. Section Summary In this section, we highlight the challenges faced in web-crawled image text data due to misalignments and low-quality textual descriptions. To address these issues, we focus on enhancing image text pairs through data filtering and recaptioning using advanced language models like LLAMA3. Our approach, which involves leveraging LAMA3 to recaption a billion scale dataset, aims to significantly improve the quality of image text pairs for training advanced vision language models. Section Recaptioning Datacomp 1B. In this section, we utilized our advanced LLAVA model to generate detailed captions for images in a scalable manner. We chose the Datacomp 1B dataset, which contains around 1.3 billion image text pairs after rigorous pre-processing. Despite the initial captions in Datacomp 1B being of low quality, we used our LLAVA 1.5 LAMA 3 to 8B model to recaption the entire dataset creating Recap Datacomp 1B. We then analyzed the recaption dataset by focusing on two main aspects, the word distributions and average lengths of the captions, and the semantic quality of the captions in terms of their alignment with the images. Our analysis showed that our recaptioned content had a richer vocabulary, capturing a large portion of the word collections from both our captions and the original dataset. Additionally, our captions displayed a greater variety in the usage of nouns and adjectives, which we attribute to the extended length of our data. Comparing the distribution of caption lengths, we found that our recaption data had an average sequence length of 49.43, significantly longer than the original Datacomp captions with a length of 
This difference in length and diversity confirmed that Recap Datacomp 1B outperformed the original dataset in these aspects. To evaluate the semantic quality of our recaptioned content, we used the CLIP and GPT-4V models. While the standard CLIP model showed comparable performance between our recaptioned content and the original captions, the long CLIP large model, designed for longer captions, demonstrated a much higher alignment score for our newly generated captions. Additionally, the GPT-4V evaluation indicated that our recaptioned content received significantly higher ratings compared to the original captions, confirming the superior quality of our generated captions in terms of length, vocabulary diversity, semantics, and alignment with the images. Section Summary In this section, we utilize the LLAVA model to recaption the Datacomp1B dataset, resulting in the creation of Recap Datacomp1B. Our analysis reveals that the recaptioned content showcases a richer vocabulary and longer caption lengths compared to the original dataset, indicating enhanced caption diversity. Evaluations using CLIP and GPT-4V models demonstrate that our recaptioned captions exhibit superior semantic quality and alignment with images, outperforming the original captions in terms of length, vocabulary diversity, semantics, and image text coherence. Section CLIP. In this section, we explore the benefits of training CLIP models with the Recap Datacomp 1B dataset. By using this dataset, we expect the CLIP models to have better abilities in finding images related to text without prior training and to understand text better, especially with long and complex inputs, due to the improved quality of our recaptions. We evaluate the effectiveness of Recap CLIP using various metrics. We test how well it can classify images without prior training on the ImageNet 1K dataset and how it performs in finding related images and text on the MSCOCO 2014 validation set and the Flickr 30K test set. We present our results from three perspectives. First, we look at how different ratios of original captions to our enhanced recaptions affect clip performance. Next, we study the impact of increasing the size of the clip text encoder. Lastly, we assess the text understanding capability of Recap Clip by testing it on VG Attribute and Urban 1K datasets. When training the Recap Clip model, we mix both original brief captions and long informative generated captions to prevent the model from overfitting to the recaption data. We vary the mix ratios between original captions and our recaptions during training to see how it affects the model's performance. This mixing strategy ensures that each training batch contains a combination of our recaptions and original captions, controlled by a probability value, enhancing the model's ability to generalize. Our main findings are summarized in a table. We observe that initially reducing the mix ratio, increasing the proportion of our recaption data, improves cross-modal retrieval performance, indicating that high-quality recaption data enhances the learning process. However, further reducing the mix ratio leads to a decline in performance, showing that original captions provide necessary training regularization. Interestingly, clip performance is not significantly affected by certain variations in the mix ratio, with consistent enhancements observed over the baseline across different cross-modal retrieval metrics. We find that incorporating our recaptions negatively impacts zero-shot classification performance, aligning with previous studies that fine-tuning on long text can hurt clip performance. To strike a balance between classification and cross-modal retrieval performance, we choose a mix ratio of 0.8 for further analysis. We also investigate how the size of the text encoder affects models trained with a mix of original captions and our recaptions. By changing the size of the text encoder while keeping the vision branch configuration constant, we aim to understand the impact of text encoder size on model performance. Section Summary In this section, we explore the benefits of training clip models with the Recap Datacomp 1B dataset, aiming to enhance zero-shot cross-modal retrieval and text understanding capabilities, especially with long and complex textual inputs. By evaluating the Recap clip model through various metrics, we observe that adjusting the mix ratios between original captions and enhanced recaptions influences the model's performance, with a balance at a ratio of 0.8 showing promising results.
Additionally, we investigate how the size of the text encoder impacts models trained on a mix of original captions and recaptions, highlighting the importance of finding the right balance for optimal performance. Section Main In this section, we present our main findings. We discovered that by increasing the size of the text encoder in our models, we were able to improve performance across all model scales. The average performance boost for using a larger text encoder in retrieval tasks was 1.4%, 1.0%, and 1.5% for small, base, and large models, respectively. This suggests that larger text encoders help the clip model learn better from detailed captions. We also examined the impact of adjusting the ratio of recaption data with a larger text encoder. By increasing the ratio of recaption data from 20% to 50% and using a large text encoder model, we found that the optimal ratio shifted from P equals 0.8 to P equals 0.6 when a larger text encoder was employed. This indicates that better cross-modal retrieval performance can be achieved by using more recaptions and a larger text encoder. Furthermore, we evaluated the text understanding capabilities of our recap clip model. Our model was tested on two benchmarks, Urban 1K and VG Attribution. The results showed significant improvements when the model was trained on our Recap Datacomp 1B dataset. For both text-to-image and image-to-text retrieval tasks on the Urban 1K dataset, our Recap Clip models outperformed the baseline by at least 19% and sometimes up to 36%. On the VG Attribution dataset, our recap clip model demonstrated performance close to that of the NEG clip fine tuning process, without any specific targeted fine tuning. Moreover, we explored the impact of training with generated captions on text to image generative models. By training our models on Recap Datacomp 1B, we aim to improve the alignment between visual content in images and textual descriptions. We utilize Diffusion Transformers, DIT, as our text-to-image model and observed enhancements in vision language alignment and image quality. In conclusion, our experiments showed that adjusting the ratio of recaption data, using larger text encoders, and training with enriched captions can significantly enhance the performance of text-to-image generative models. Additionally, scaling up the model size led to improved alignment between generated images and text, resulting in higher quality images with more intricate details.